Good day, future teachers. This is part 4 of the series of video tutorials as a reviewer nyo for the licensure examination for teachers, specifically Gen Ed Mathematics. Okay, let's begin. Problem number 1. What is the greatest common factor or GCF of 4, 8, and 12? So, when you say greatest common factor or GCF, ano yung pinakamalaking number na pwede natin i-divide sa 4, 8, and 12? Sabihin mo ay 2. Pwede i-divide sa 2 yan. Ano yung 4, yung 8, and 12. Pero yun na ba ang pinakamalaking number? So, let's say mas malaki sa 4, uh, sa 2. That is 4. Diba? Kasi 4 divided by 4, that's 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Meron pa bang mas malaki sa 4? Well, I think wala na. So our answer is letter A. Or you can also do this, no? i-list down mo lahat ng factors ng 4. Factors of 4. So ang factors kasi niyan ay 1, 2. Ibig sabihin yung mga number na pwede nating i-divide dito. No? Uh, 4, yan yung factors ng 4. Yung factors naman ng 8 ay 1. 2, um, 3, hindi pwede, uh, 4, 8, okay? And then, factors naman ng 12 ay, ano yung mga number, ano, na pwede natin i-divide sa 12, na ang sagot ay whole number, that's 2, 3, pwede, kasi 12 divided by 3 is 4, 4, pwede, 6, 8, hindi po pwede, 12. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 1 is common, hindi ba? 1, is common factor. Pero hinahanap natin yung greatest common factor. 2 is also common. So, ano pa ba ang pinakamalaking common? That is 4. Okay? So, that is how to find the greatest common factor. Number 2, find x in the proportion x is to 5 is equal to 10 is to 8. Okay? To solve this one, so, we have to multiply etong ito, yan yung ating extremes, at itong means. Or, you can also write this as x over 5 is equal to 10 over 8. So, tandaan, ratio can also be written in fraction form. Ratio and fraction is the same, di ba? So, you can uh, now cross multiply. Ako kasi mas gusto ko yung ganito, ano? So, magko-cross multiply ako. That is 8, 8 times x or x times 8, ano? 8x. Then, 5 times 10, that is 50. Then, to find the value of x, divide natin siya kung anong numerical coefficient ng x, which is 8. So, cancel out na yan, no? So, 50 divided by 8, that is 6.5. Five. Okay, so our answer is letter D. Or kung gusto mo naman ito, the same lang naman yan, no? 8 times x, that is 8x. 5 times 10, that's 50, which is the same dito, no? Then divide sa 8. Okay? So, ganun lang kadali yung pag-solve ng proportion. Number 3, the height of a triangle is 7 meters and the base is 30 meters. What is the area of a triangle? Now, para ma-visualize nyo, let's draw a triangle. Okay, so itong nasa baba, this is the base. Then the height, hindi ito yung height niya, no? Yung height niya, ito yung, ito. Okay? Pag height kasi, makakabu ka dapat ng 90 degrees doon sa base. Okay? So, ito yung kanyang height. Or, uh, height is also the altitude. Tatandaan niya na, kasi baka sa ibang problem, hindi height ang ibigay, kundi yung altitude. Anyway, uh, the same lang sila. Okay? So, hindi ito yung height, kundi yung line. No, from this angle, papunta dun sa base, basta makaform siya ng 90 degrees. Okay, that is the altitude or the height. So, remember that the area of a triangle 
is equal to base times height divided by 2. Para madali mong matandaan, kapag ka meron kang uh, rectangle, ang area niyan is base times height. Bakit ang area ng triangle ay may divide 2? Kasi ang rectangle ay binubuo ng dalawang triangles. Diba? One triangle, then we have another triangle. Kaya, divide 2. Kasi kalahati ng rectangle ay triangle. So, para mas madali mong maintindihan yung area ng triangle. So, pag rectangle, base time side. Pag triangle, base time side, divided by 2. So, substitute now our base. So, we have 30 times our height or altitude. That's 7. Then, divided by 2. So, what is 30 times 7? That is 210. Divided by 2. So, iyan ay 105. Remember, area to. So, the unit is square meters. Okay? So, therefore, our answer is letter D. Okay, number 4. The fraction halfway between 2 third and 5 third is blank. Okay, so when I say halfway, yung gitna ng 2 third and 5 third. So, to find yung gitna ng 2 third and 5 third, so we need to add first yung two fractions natin na 2 third, 2 third plus 5 third. Madali ito kasi ang ating denominator ay common, which is 3. Parehas sila, no? So, we just copy the common denominator and add the numerators. Now, divided by 2, kasi halfway ang sabi, eh, no? So, how to divide fractions? Yan ay magiging 7 third, yung division magiging times, the reciprocal of 2, okay? So, ang reciprocal ng 2 ay 1 half, kasi pag whole number, may over 1 yan. So, pag reciprocal, babalik ta rin natin yan, magiging 1 half. Then, you multiply. 7 times 1 is 7, 3 times 2 is 6. So, tatandaan niya, no? Pag nag-divide ka, you copy the first fraction, then find the reciprocal ng pangalawang fraction or ng pangalawang number. So, in this case, 2 over 1 yan kasi whole number magiging 1 half. Okay. Our answer is letter C. Number 5, find the next three numbers in the sequence 16, 25, 36, 49. Okay, so we have 16, tapos meron tayong 25. Okay, ano ang difference ng 16 and 25? It is 9, so nag plus 9 siya dito, hindi ba? So nangyari, nagkaroon ng plus 9. So ang susunod na number ay 36. So ang ginawa niya dyan, ay nag-plus, anong pinas niya to get 36? 11, di ba? Then, next one is 49. So, ang ginawa, nag-plus siya ng uh, 13, okay, to get 49. So, therefore, kung ito yung ating sequence, yung ating pattern, ano ang susunod nating i-add? That is 15. So, what is 49 plus 15? That is 64. Okay? Then, ano ang susunod nating i-add after ng 15? 17. Nag-add lang tayo ng uh, add numbers. So, 64 plus 17, that's 81. Okay? Then, 81 plus next number na i-add natin ay 19. So, 81 plus 19, that is 100. So, therefore, our answer is letter C. Or, pwede mo rin itong gawin, ano? I remember that 16 is 4 squared. 25 is 5 squared. 36 is 6 squared. This is 7 squared. 8 times 8 is 64. 9 times 9 is 81. 10 times 10 is 100. Maraming paraan, okay, how to get the next number.